well, we got a project going on today. I got up this morning and I was going to go to the pond for shrimp ride. Um, there should be some uh, ice on it. And I tried to bust some up and see what's happening. But when I went and did that, I came out and I turned on the Wabasco heater to try to warm it up on the inside. It's not that cold. It's like 40 degrees, but I still got summer fuel in this thing and kind of like to burn that stuff up. Um, and then what happened is, is uh, the heater went on for a little while and then it just shut off. And after doing a little bit of research on the internet, discovered that it appeared that the most common cause of the Vasco heater not working correctly is a lack of voltage. So I tried it a few more times, same cold came up. And then I started it up and she barely started up. And after it got going, it's kind of been making me think a little bit. Um, I noticed on the voltmeter that there was absolutely no change in the voltage when I'm revving it up. Matter of fact, when it's idling, it's like at, I don't know, 10 volts or something similar to that. So, after some more research, gave a quick call to the folks that I got this from. They answer it right away. I can't say enough about them, Sherp USA. Um, and they believed that what it could be is a problem um, with the wire that goes on the alternator. So bottom line is it's broke and I'm trying to take this all off right now to show you that. So a reminder, this is where the alternator is and you can see that wire fastener is actually broken off right there. The wire is not attached to uh, that stud and that nut that's on there. So what I did is I took uh, that off, put a new fastener on the same place where the old one was at. Uh, the wire was long enough and I just thought this might be easier to just get this thing done right now and see if it'll last. So if it works, uh, it's one less thing to try to do in terms of fishing wires through. I could just take advantage of the work that was previously completed. So the next step here is, is I'm going and just getting some of the panels on. I missed uh, the pa bottom panel. I've already got that one put on. That was kind of a pain in the butt to put on because the emergency brake was not the easiest thing to do. So I get that top panel on in the front and I just quickly made sure that the emergency brake was fastened in the back. We get the top panel put on, get those straps put on here. Then I take the Kodura fabric, put it over the top of that, get everything aligned right. It fits absolutely perfect. It's, it's just a pain to put all this stuff on here, but it's not so bad. Um, got the small covers on the bottom put on, put the other Kodura fabric on the top of it. Then I come back and I'm going to put the seats in. Um, so put the seat in, just pop right into the little clip, get the old, both of them all set up, and we're ready to go. Alrighty. Got her all back together again. I did turn on the Wabasco Hero back there for, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. Again, I'm trying to just burn out some of that summer fuel. How she works. We did again have both batteries charged, so everything should be good. Turn on the old glow plugs. Voltage was up to 12, went down a little bit to about 11 right now. And the voltage shot right up to right where it should be. It's a little bit over 14 right now. Which I would expect too, because I've had that heater run for about an hour.
let it warm up a little bit. 